Like this goes and goes and goes as in I am at my arm's length right now. There's only one thing I can do at this point. Now, when it comes to epic comebacks, I don't think there's any Maltese town doing it better than Xira, a place that 20 or 30 years ago was known as a very shady area. In the next episode of Love and Streets, I will be heading from that part of Xira to the other part of Xira and find out how such a small, strange little town became numero uno for food and culture in 2021. We've got e-cabs with us today, of course we do. AC'd up, super clean, COVID friendly. I'm about to jump in because I am hungry and I want to get my eat on. This is a really lovely way to start your day. This is a Turkish breakfast that the gods would love to devour. Now guys, this dish right here, this is possibly my favorite breakfast dish. I recently discovered it. Turkish omelet, sujuk, sujek, sorry if I'm butchering that pronunciation. Beef, Turkish, salami, with some eggs. You need to try this, this is a very special dish. You've got all your bases covered right here with this breakfast. The next place specializes in American style food. And in fact, I need a very special guest to assist me on the next review. And I even have a very special number to call him over. Fried chicken, fried chicken, fried chicken. Hey man, you called? There he is. So we've got David Greco Pioneer Deej, very, very famous on Love and Mortis TikTok. In Malta, we don't say. Now, we're gonna hit up Norvi. They're known for their chicken wings. I mean, you know me, man. I love chicken so much, I can practically live off of things. And even if it's this hot, and it is this hot, I mean, I'm literally getting a sunburn just standing here. I'm still up for some spicy wings, so let's go get it. Let's go get some chicken. Let's get it on. All right, boys and girls, we have got the buffalo chicken wings right here in front of us, freshly made at Novi Bar. Okay, I'm gonna cheers to that. Thank you very much for paying. Now I need your honest review, huh? Let's get into it. The buffalo sauce hits every time. Every time. Can we swear on this show? <laughs> From the official fried chicken man. What are you saying? How are you feeling about these? I feel like they're so good, I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you so much. Thanks, Deej. Have a good one. Ciao, see you on TikTok, man. Thanks, dude. Thanks so much, thank you. It's taco time, baby. <laughs> oh, no. Guys, it is blistering hot in the streets of Xero right now, so I need a very special friend to help me in this next segment. I even got an ice cream for him. He should be showing up any second now. I'm not really sure from which side. <laughs> there he is. Rachel Potch, baby. Thank you so much. So listen, Xero nowadays is very cosmopolitan, very modern. You've got all types of ethnicities and cultures, but it wasn't always like that. I remember like 20 years ago, it was kind of a rough area, right? Growing up, when people would ask like, where, like, where do you live? Or you have to say like in front of your whole classmates, I'd say Slima. Wow, okay. Just yeah. because of yeah. they'll be like, prostitutes, yeah, where would prostitutes live? So listen, if someone's never been to Xero before, yeah. and they're gonna see this video, or they read something and they wanna visit the area, what's yeah. your one tip for them if they're coming here? What do they need to do if they come to Xero? I mean, get takeaway and take it to Manuel Island and jump in the sea. You heard it from the man <laughs> himself. Now, Xero. Xira in Maltese means island, so it is a bit strange as to why an entire town would be named Xira. But it's actually a very, very interesting history. And it all goes back to the center landmark right here in the middle of Xira, Manuel Island. Now, back in 1592, a lazaretto, a quarantine kind of hospital, was built on Manuel Island, specifically as the second wave of the plague decimated Europe. Sounds very familiar, right? So I'm in the backgrounds of Xero right now. I feel like I need a bit of a strong coffee. So I'm running into afro Delian coffee, an African speciality bar to see what they've got cooking up for us. Ooh, wow. That is very floral. Holy cow. Okay, Ethiopian coffee is no joke. Very floral. You've got some beautiful light notes here. You know, if you're drinking instant coffee all the time, 
this is literally a journey abroad, you know, forget going to Lua Airport, get down to Gazira, get some Ethiopian coffee, and you are basically in Africa, baby. After World War II, just like Straight Street in Valletta, this area became a bit of a drinking hole for British soldiers, which is why prostitution blossomed in the area. However, just like Straight Street, in the 70s, when Malta became independent and the British soldiers left the island, the area fell into a bit of a, you know, bad time. Thankfully, in the last decade, foreign businesses, iGaming businesses, local businesses as restaurants have stepped it up and invested in the area creating this beautiful new cosmopolitan space that we know and love. So a couple of years ago, I actually used to live in Xira, kind of next to KFC, and there was one little hole in the wall that I would swear by. It's a Syrian family-run business that specializes in falafel, chicken wraps, as well as these really cool little alternatives to Pazitsi. So here we are at Hassan Falafel and Fatayar, and if I'm not mistaken, they've got a fresh batch of falafel cooking for us right now. All right, guys, so this is no joke. We've got some freshly made falafel right here. As you can see, this plate looks stunning. We've got some hummus, tahina. I mean, we've got yogurt. We've got some gherkins, some pickles right there. So important, as well as some cucumbers and tomato on a fresh bed of lettuce. Now, you saw the falafel before. You know, falafel is offered all around Malta, but these guys have a very special recipe and a very unique form as well that when you dip it into these fresh sauces, you're transported to Syria. This is lovely. So guys, we've been walking around Gzira. It is crazy hot today. So thank God the legends over at Ecabs have got our backs. We just jumped inside this beautiful, clean, AC'd up, air conditioned, to a T cab. I'm taking a break from the sun while getting to my destination, easy peasy. So, guys, it is hot this summer. Protect yourself, call ECABS. So, here we are, guys, Manuel Island, surrounded by the leftovers of the fortifications as well as the Lazaretto, the quarantine hospital. Now, for years, Malta was known as the nurse of the Mediterranean, and it's really no wonder why. If you look back, whenever there was a plague outbreak, wars and battles. During the Crimean War, one of the most important battles over the last 200 years, you had British, Italian and French soldiers all being treated for their wounds in Malta. This place was used as a hospital all the way until 1939, which is when the British decided to turn it into a naval base ahead of World War II. Okay guys, we've just explored Fort Manuel. Now it is time to make some mozzarella. Okay guys, I am super excited about this next place. They are all about high quality, authentic Italian cheeses. They make pizzas, baguettes, himu. Let's check it out. Okay guys, we are in one of my favorite little spots in Gzira. It is a legit authentic burateria, Italian Sicilian run. And today we've got a very special exhibition. We've got Chef Mafaldina straight from Sicily here with us today to make some fresh burrata. All right, first step is to put some curd on your bowl. And then second step, hot water. And then you can start going around. And then we'll start checking if it's melting right. So you're looking for a particular type of texture right now? We need to lose all these grumps. Oh wow, it's starting to look like it now, yeah. We need to hold our hands very, very cold. Just grab one part, a small part, and put some shredded mozzarella and cream inside. And then we'll try to grab it like a napkin. And very delicate closing. And then it's too much, so we'll take off a little bit. Here we go. Good thing you can do is add some pistachio on top. We're gonna do a bit of Italian salt bay right there. There we go. It kind of breaks my heart. It's a beautiful, freshly made piece of burrata. It looks genuinely stunning. We've got the pistachio on top as well, but I came here to do a job, so I'm gonna cut right into it. So do you go for the knot? Do you go right for the heart? What do you go for? You go for the heart. You go for the heart, okay, let's cut right in. Always for the heart. Look at this, guys. Okay, wow. The 
this is a fliccia in Italian. It's literally a braid. And as you can see, it is no <laughs> joke at all. Like this goes and goes and goes as in I am at my arm's length right now. There's only one thing I can do at this point. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that officially brings us to the end of today's episode of Love and Streets, where we explored the underrated, underappreciated urban hotspot of Xira. I have to say I love what it's become. 20, 30 years ago, no one would have believed that this would be the most cosmopolitan hotspot on the island. Walking down the boulevard is reminiscent of walking down London, man. Ethnicities are exploding everywhere. You've got different voices, different languages, the smells of the cuisines. It's honestly a wet dream for a foodie like me. Now, if I have to give this place a name, it's so obvious what I'm naming it. This place has to be known as The Comeback Kid. Well done to Xira and shout out to all the businesses that helped this place turn itself around. Now guys, what I want to know is what place do you want to see featured in a future episode of Love and Streets? Not only that, which location in Xira is your favorite place to hit up when you're in the area? Let me know. And until next time, it has been your very, very hungry host, Jonathan Chilia, and we are out. <laughs>